Hello everyone, my name is Ron, and today I'm going to talk about one of the most common problems encountered in modern society, anger. You might have become angry at least once in your life, asking yourself why you lost control so rapidly. Well, there is a scientific explanation behind such matters, and it all begins with the brain. The brain is one of the most complex systems we've ever encountered, allowing us to function and perform a number of incredible tasks. But at the same time, it's the seat of negative emotions, with anger standing at the top of the list. What happens in our brains when you become angry? Why do we lose control? Well, here's what you need to know on the subject. When we're angry, we don't actually use the brain cortex, but rather the limbic system, home of complex emotions, including anger. The amygdala is the main structure involved in the appearance of anger. With proper triggers, it leads to an override of the cortex. It will decide whether it's worth getting angry or not. When the amygdala is active, reason doesn't matter so much anymore. Consequences are not taken into consideration, hence the loss of control. The fight or flight response responds in a matter of seconds and the brain has to decide whether it will fight or abandon the argument. Hormones are released, causing a person to become out of control and say things he or she might regret. It might take up to a half an hour before the proper sense of control is regained. The cortex takes over the amygdala and imposes logic. So you see, when we're angry, we're really out of control, at least for a period of time. Knowing this, it's important to remember that a person might need a period of time to calm down, and that's for the best to avoid immediate response, which might accentuate the situation. If you want to discover more information on anger and other emotions and mental health, follow ConsumerHealthDigest.com.